We're going to be going over the numbers on this duplex from a man, Dave. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise, and folks, this is the show where we work together one on one to help you guys start, build, or grow your real estate portfolios, right? And today I'm going to be checking out this property for my client, Dave. But before I get to that, Dave, I want to address uh, some questions you had for me, okay? I got them all right here. Uh, generally, I'm just going to ad lib it uh, quickly here. Essentially, you had a lot of questions on COVID and COVID's effects on the housing market, uh, things of that nature. You talked about some national level stuff, and I'm going to be real with you. I don't get into the speculation too, too much, right? I think you get a lot of people that just talk and talk and speculate and speculate, but that's all it is, right? It's speculation, right? I try not to speculate uh, too often because ultimately you can't I try not to you know talk about what I can't control right and whenever I talk to investors right I talk to you guys about uh, particular things that I am speculating a bit on I do that with concrete evidence such as when I tell you guys I think the best D-class neighborhood in the Cleveland market is the Clark Fulton area near Metro Health right yes that is speculation but I am speculating on that because of cause and effect, right? That neighborhood is a low-income neighborhood, but I know that Metro Health has committed $1 billion to that neighborhood, their campus, low-income housing surrounding it, right? So that's a little bit of speculation, but I see a very direct injection of funds and i could see a very quick easy you know the line from cause and effect is right there right it's not too uh confusing it's it's not crazy right so i don't like to get involved in that crazy cause and effect and speculating on this or speculating that there's a lot of people just talking out of their butt and maybe it happens that way maybe it doesn't right you know if we all had a crystal ball we'd all be warren buffett okay so uh with that said to your one direct question on um your thoughts on the COVID vaccines coming out, I will leave you with this. My, my thoughts on the whole thing are this. When COVID first popped out, first of all, it's, you know, something we've never, ever seen before, right? Nobody's ever, you know, we haven't had a freaking plague like this since like 1920, okay? So nobody around today uh, that's doing real estate was around doing real estate in 1920, right? So it's all brand new to everybody. Everybody at first thought the real estate market was going to completely tank and crash. That did not happen, okay? The, the real estate market did not crash. So we're currently in January. We've been through, you know, into this like eight, nine months. The market still has not crashed. And now on the horizon in a few months, we believe we're going to have vaccines. So I would assume the vaccines coming out are just going to lead the market to continuing on as normal. I do not see any major changes in the market happening or having anything to really do with COVID, right? Because if it was going to totally tank, I believe that already would have happened. And I looks like we're coming out of this thing. I could be wrong. I don't know. But my best guesstimate is uh, that things are going to continue on as normal. Anything else is pure speculation on my part. So I'm not going to get into that any deeper. But what I do want to get into deeper, brother, is this property for you. 3544 West 61st, Cleveland, Ohio, 44102. It's been on the market almost two months, right? It's priced at 89.9, and this is exactly the type of stuff you wanted me to find you, right? Your sweet spot, Dave, is those duplexes in the 70 to 90K range. This is a fully occupied duplex. We got some photos prior to the tenants going in there. Nothing fancy. It's kind of like a little hodgepodge. Uh, you know, reno, right? Like, I do like this bathroom. I think the bathroom is probably the nicest house, nicest room in the house, right? I like the tile. Everything looks good in the bathroom. But, you know, then you see just random colors on in the other rooms. But, uh, you know, there's tenants already in there. So, hey, whatever. It's a, it's a C-class 
type investment, right? So we have some C-class tenants that have been placed. Um, going forward, what I would like to see, though, I don't like to see, like, multiple colors and, and nothing is really matching. I like to create a much more cohesive unit, right? So going forward at the next turnover, I would like to carry these hardwoods all the way through. And what we like to do, uh, just a pet peeve of mine, we don't carry the hardwoods through into the kitchen. We do do a vinyl flooring, which is what these folks have done. But we like it to match the bathroom. So uh, I, I would recommend at the next turnover making this unit nicer than it currently is. Um, like, you know, this, this landlord just guy being cheap right he's got the wall and the trim the exact same color i like to go agreeable gray which is statistically speaking the most popular color in america right now and then white on the trim right if you do that folks uh you're gonna get a tenant who's gonna stay longer right like nobody really likes this like blue carpet you're looking at here right it's just like kind of like a hodgepodge unit now the guy did get pretty decent rents though okay it's already occupied so it's already making the money so we don't have to do these repairs now right that upstairs unit that's a three one so they're getting 700 downstairs two one they're getting 650 so we're already bringing in 1350 now with my uh my moves the moves i would make going forward we would probably get that three one up to about eight and we get the two one up to 750 so we could get that rent up to 1550 currently at 1350 though now at the 1350 after you take your regular normal things we've got to account for this thing should kick off a net operating income of 8100 right and on top of that 8100 i have 804 for three different items these are all items that are going to go right into your pocket but i'm saving for when bad things happen right i'm saving for our capital expenditure budget i'm saving for vacancy and non-payment i'm saving for repairs and maintenance now let me talk a little bit about my idea for renovating the unit and what's currently there right i said we're going to get two hundred dollars more a month in rent if we do my renovations right but that is really not why you do that okay you don't aim for that extra two hundred dollars yeah it's great to get an extra two hundred dollars but that's not where the money's made the money's made because when you make a nicer unit your tenants are going to stay longer okay so right here the 804 that we are saving on top of that 8200 for your vacancy and your non-payment, right? The longer your tenants are in your properties, the less money you're spending on vacancy and non-payment. The longer your tenants are in your properties, the less you're spending on repairs and maintenance, guys, because where do you, all your repairs come from? The majority of your repairs, they're going to come from the tenant turnovers, right? You're spending zero right on tenant uh, on repairs for the majority of the time these people are living there and then when they turn over that's when you got to spend the money right so by creating a nicer unit yes we get additional rents but we also get longer staying tenants and then the uh, third thing that we're saving 804 for that's our capital expenditures right because what we have here is a building with mid to end of life mechanicals okay so roof that's about a seven, eight thousand dollar roof. This is a big old duplex. Okay, they last thirty years. We're somewhere in the mid range on that. It's not a new roof, right? So we're gonna save eight hundred four because you know in the you know coming decade you're gonna need to replace that roof. Are you a lender? If so, Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all fifty states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. Hot water tanks, you got to do those every 15 years, they cost a G. Furnaces, you got to do those every 30 years, they cost about three Gs. Everything's working, nothing's currently brand new. So we're saving that 804 because you know you're going to have to replace stuff like that, right? So with all of that said, right, age of the mechanicals, the current rents, the rents in the future, yada, yada, everything, all baked into the cake. 89.9, that's a fair price. I'm going to try to pick it up for you for a $5,000 discount. We can't try to ask for too much more because somebody else will come in and buy this, right? You can't get cash like this anywhere else, though. So 85 would be our best case scenario. You pick this up at 85, Dave. That's a 9.6 cap. And it should factor out if financed to a 23.5% cash on cash return. You're only going to have to put 21 and a quarter into the deal. That is why this is your sweet spot. That's why these are the properties you've been targeting for your portfolio. So if you'd like to make an offer on this particular property, just reply to the link below, or not the link below, rather, I'm sorry, reply to the private email. We sent this to you in a private email. Everybody else, if you're watching this and you're not Dave, okay, I publish this later on Holton Wise TV for you guys all 
to see what's going on. You can't actually buy this. Only Dave can buy this because he got this video probably two months ago. So all you folks out there who are watching this, if you want to work with me and my team in the same way Dave is doing, you could click the link below and you could start working with us. Or if it's easier for you, just send my team an email, sales at HoltonWise.com. Give us your phone number. We'll give you a call. We'll walk you through the process, okay? Now, Dave, love this property, but I want to give you a, a couple different options to look at. So what I'm going to do is make another video for you right now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.